But I also don't know if it's unjust. unjust. It's the definition of unjust. It's completely unfair for someone to choose who lives and who dies. You're saying there's a certain point where murder is justified for you. I'm challenging that because like, you know. I still don't know if it's... Could I kill old people? I still don't know if it's murder then. Yeah. You're, you're firing at me basically. Well, this is this case. This is similar. You wouldn't do that, therefore this. Would you still eat meat if they had better conditions? It depends on the level of conditions. Would you still eat like free range pigs just cruising around? If they, they lived to a very old age and yeah. So it wouldn't bother you the killing of them so much? It also depends how they kill. If it was literally within a span of 30 seconds and it was almost like a guillotine. A happy animal has more of an interest in living, yeah? You would assume? Presumably. Yeah, they want, they've had a better well well-being and it would, they want to continue that well-being because they're in this amazing condition. On the assumption that animal minds are equatable completely to human minds, we are just sophisticated animals. We don't have to com equate minds to say that they're equal, but we can compare them and say that they oh, are yeah, sentient. Certainly compare them. If there was no need been the key word worldwide for meat then I'd happily give up meat forever however and certain poor villages are not permitted access to certain resources so they have to like catch rats and stuff and eat meat so I've heard about that in order to not just survive but have any decent chance of nutritional input for themselves and their families they have to eat meat it's I get what, I get what you're saying um but that would be a case for people in a survival situation where they have to scrounge for rats and things like that. That wouldn't be a case for you. Oh, no. You said I would only stop eating meat if this cultural issue was solved and this issue was solved, but that's got nothing to do with you. So, so let me ask you this. You still think murder is justified as long as they've had a long enough life. I think it's actually yeah. better. I, 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 would, I would agree with I you. I would make a between killing and murder. Why? Well, What's your definition of murder? Not murder the... would be the the ending of life of a conscious being. You don't think animals are conscious? What do you mean by conscious that's first? That's the thing, I don't know. So like, a pig, let's talk about the species of animals that you eat, because they're the ones I'm concerned. A pig, you that's don't, okay. you, yeah. yeah, I'm concerned with those. But pigs, I mean, you know they're more intelligent than a dog. Not sure. But dog, intelligence maybe. shouldn't be the metric, really, because a stupid person should have the same rights as a, as a super intelligent genius you know, in the moral universe. I'm inclined to agree with that. I'm going to play devil advocate and say, do they? Okay, well, if it was one or the other, you know, you could start making a case for who's going to be the, the best choice for society to, ex maybe it's the genius who's going to create this. I get you, but it's not, we're just talking about like, not in these crazy one or the other situations. We're just talking about just generally in society. I, I agree they, ha they should have the same basic human rights. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Fundamental rights, fundamental the fundamental rights. ones. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we have that, that same concept for, for these non-human animals? You're saying there's a certain point where murder is justified for you. I'm challenging that because like, you I know. I still don't know if it's... Could I kill old people? I still don't know if it's murder then. Kill someone that... It's okay. against their will. They, they've got an interest in living. I come along and I rob, their, I, I, I rob their existence from them. I call that murder. Taking their existence away from them against their preference to live. So right now, you've got a preference to live. I'm inclined to agree there preference to live. I can't get off and ask it, but I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As an to individual, kill them. I don't have a pragmatic or logistical um, justification or excuse not yeah. to eat meat. I don't think I have a excuse. Mm. Based on my moral principles. Now, I'm basing this on people's subjective morals, um, like because most people they are against killing a dog for meat. They're against killing, you know, marginal case human beings for meat but they have this massive inconsistency for these species of animals. You, a lot of people anthropomorphize their pets and they, they give them human attributes. Whether, whether they do or not is irrespective. They, they project a sense of like family and yeah. human characteristics. So I do think it's easy for people to do that to non-traditionally domesticated animals as well. They do have human attributes though, like a brain, a heart, eyes. They have uh, consciousness. They have I pain. No, the, so I don't even know what that means in a human. Oh well, they experience reality from a subjective standpoint. So that, does that though. They don't. They don't have a brain. You or, don't have to have a brain. Are you saying a brain, in terms of its anatomical, an anatomical <laughs> structure, is essential in order to have what you call consciousness? Because firstly, I'm not even sure what you mean by consciousness. And secondly, I'd argue you could come across hypothetically as a, as a thought experiment. You could come across in any species that does not have a brain anatomically similar to a mammal, but could still have 
what we class as consciousness. If we found out there was an entity that was sentient conscious experiencing the world, that would, uh, whatever that was, would need rights. Yeah, but plants experience the world, but I wouldn't say they're conscious. No, no, they're, they're, I don't, there's no one in there, there's no one home. So there's no subject inside of a tree experiencing, they're rooted into the ground and just, they're like a biological computer that is intelligent and alive, but there's no, there's no one in there, in that tree, no one home. You know what I mean? Like when, if you were in a coma right now yeah. and your body would, if I cut you, your body would heal and you would react to stimuli probably. Let's just say they're brain dead completely and there's no, but their body is still functioning. That's how I would consider a plant. There's no need for them to have rights because there's no one in there that is suffering or has needs or desires. But in a pig, it's very clear there is. So it comes down to suffering? No, no not just suffering. Suffering, well-being, experience they're experiencing the world. I mean, you could technically take away all their pain receptors. It'd still be wrong to, to rob their sentience from them, to, you know, to essentially take their experience, their only experience they'll ever have away from them. It's, I don't think that's justified. I mean, if you shot me in the back of the head and caused me no suffering. I don't know if it's justified, but I also don't know if it's unjust. Unjust? In, well, unjust it's the definition it's of unjust. It's completely unfair for someone to choose who lives and who dies. It's the definition of injustice. There's no fairness in that. It's, it's difficult because my personal preference is mostly aligned, well, based on our conversation, with what I can only presume are your sort of moral principles. Yeah. But morality, it's not so clear cut. Why don't you just put it simply, like you have eggs and dairy here, which we know establish that you eat, and we have a bunch of industrialized suffering and things like that, even, or they all get slaughtered anyway, even if you get them from a a smaller farm, they will go to the slaughterhouse. So you've got that choice here, and then you've got the tofu, the beans, and the rice, and the, you know, the vegan burgers from wherever that, you know, there's plants on the other end of it. There might be some, some issues with the plant farming, but none that aren't magnified through feeding crops to animals anyway. So you've got these two choices. How, do you, how are you justified making this choice that you know causes all this cruelty and killing, and not this choice? Pleasure? Yeah. Pleasure of meat. Yeah, and you, we know we can't use pleasure as a. But you're using pain as justice. It's not just pain. Um, I'm saying it's it's unjust. It's 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 unfair. Your your state is unjust, but you haven't proven it's unjust. You're convinced. No. But if you're gonna convince you, convince me or someone else that is no, even less true. inclined yeah. to a very fake notion of animal ethics. You can't just start with the presumption that your conclusion is always justified. Yeah. You're, you're firing at me basically, well this is this case, this is similar, you won't do that, therefore this. You're coming at it already with a conclusion justified in your head, but if you're going to convince anyone, you need to prove to them with logical premises, or should I say, foundational claims that they themselves logically don't need justifying, and then build up a case. Yeah, so what I, what I usually establish first is if they believe animals matter morally, and go off of that, and most people do. If they don't, then I don't even bother. I mean, we can have a, just a logical discussion about how they're hypocrites in their moral system, and they, they wouldn't want a dog to have their head cut off, or what animals do they think that matter morally. Some species, they, they think matter morally, and these species, they don't care because they've been conditioned. So that's where I would start from. And we started, we kind of started from that with you, in a way, because you already told me that you're vegetarian for ethics. I didn't stop eating meat because I don't know the taste of meat. It's why did you stop eating? You, you really, yeah, really? Uh, that's why I'm already- Building a bridge of similarity. Yeah, we already established common, common, yeah, common no, ground. That's fair, no. Um, I think it comes down to pleasure. Not a justifier though, would you would say? See that, I, I disagree with. It's aware, it's in pain, it's not instant on a microsecond where it can't even sit, register pain. Of simple. course, it's worse. I would say it's worse. Oh, it's worse. But, I would still- But quick killing is still, it's still murder. You don't get points with the judge because I mean, you didn't you torture them. Organism. Yeah, but they're, I don't, they're, but they're, they're not, well, they're not, they're not plants, sentient, I don't, yeah, they're like little biological. I think it comes down to what we mean by sentience. I am inclined to think most animals, if not all animals, are quote unquote. There's ambiguous animals yeah. like uh, mollusks, um, some mollusks, some mollusks, there's more evidence, some insects, it's hard case. Yeah. But some inse insects, there's good evidence to suggest they do feel pain and are sentient. Or they definitely experience. Something I don't is, think pain and sentience need to go hand in hand. There are human beings with no pain receptors. Of course. Yeah, that's why I don't, it doesn't need to be pain. But in order to feel pain, you have to be a subject, don't you? There has to be someone in there to feel that pain for it to matter. Yeah, so you need, you need to be conscious to feel pain. I think if it was 
literally instantaneous without premeditation on the animal's part. I think it would be okay. You think it would be morally fine? Because we did, we, we did establish like quick killing of happy animals and I thought we got to this. this way. Oh no, because then I'm putting it in a context that benefits my argument. So let's just um, say there's no need for me to kill this random person, right? Yeah. And I come up with them, uh, and they're not going to feel this, and they're not even going to know, and they've had a happy life up until this point. Let's just say they just got a raise at their job and they everything got everything going for them. I come up and go bang. And, and you know what it's for though? It's for a cheeseburger. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so you know, so, do, you, do you see how, justified, how unjustified and, and irrational it sounds? To just kill someone for a sandwich, even if they didn't, even if they did, there was no suffering and they were happy and free-ranging, it's murder. Do you agree that it's it's bad to kill animals even if they are not aware? Unless it's self, yeah, it's in that oh, well, no, no, of course. scenario. Yeah, yeah. In the context of eating a, yes, a food when with you have you go, you go, yes. yes. I'm okay. trying to agree with you. Right. If it was survival and it's like a lion in the wild. Dude, I would kill me. anyone for, if, if, if I was in danger, my family yeah. was in danger, or survival's a different, morality doesn't exist in places where so they're we, surviving. Anyway, my point being is that we have enough to share, but it's not yeah. shared because a lot of waste, a lot of needless well, waste. Don't forget that all of this cropland, you know, like 83% of the farmland on earth has been used for animal agriculture. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's because of the grazing. Cattle are the size of Brazil. Yeah, and then they're growing all of these crops and they're feeding to these animals so we can have a little bit of, it's an incredibly unjust way we are distributing our resources and then as well. And you've got obviously environmental problems, problems yeah. of like loss of biodiversity, the harm on the life, on mm. life forms in, the, in that original habitat. Of course. Animal agriculture itself is one of the most destructive, well it is the most destructive in terms of resources, water use and other crazy environmental destruction that happens because of animal agriculture. It's also the cruelest well, you, thing we you do. You certainly made a good point. It's really Thank good talking to you. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan. Good to meet you Jordan. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you Joey and uh, yeah, good, good, good thinking. Good philosophizing. Good, good philosophizing. <laughs> Cheers mate. He was interesting wasn't he? Oh he was quite pleasant wasn't he? I really liked him. He was really honest too. He enjoyed that too, didn't he? He was great. I quite enjoyed it too, actually.